Okay, I think we are live. Just gonna have a check. Yes, we are live, so... Yeah, this is Relegation Region Rebuild, everybody. Hope you all gonna enjoy the series because it's based off a Sparring DK series. Go check him out. He is a great YouTuber. And yeah, this series is based off of his. He actually created this kind of series. So yeah, I'm just doing it because it's really fun and I quite enjoyed the idea so yeah let's get on to it so as you can see by the title the winner of the voting was Red Bull Leipzig it, well there wasn't really a winner there were it was between Leipzig and Southampton and uh, as I said I kind of preferred Leipzig, but I'd still leave it up to you guys. Since it was a tie, then I decided to go with Leipzig for two reasons. First, because we always played in England and I wanted to try something different. And I think Germany is the perfect place to do it. And second, Leipzig is known for their youth talent. I mean, uh, yeah. There's... They just were bought by Red Bull uh, very recently and they've finally gone out of Bundesliga 2. And I think it's the perfect time for us to continue that process that it's going on real life. It's going on in real life. So... Yeah, the manager for this series, I actually didn't thought of this. Really quality German players that like stood out for long. The best that I can remember is probably David Berend, but he really popped up really late in the series. He wasn't that big of a character until the final episodes of the series. Of the FIFA 16. Uh, so, first of all, let just pick the face. This guy, shirt and tie. So, who's gonna. Yeah, I think it's gotta be Davy Berend. Or maybe not. Wait a second. Who is going to be the manager? That is a huge call, man. I mean, to be fair, there's one guy that stands out, and that guy is David Lee, because he popped up in the free agents fine, but he was always a, a character, a big character throughout all the series, and he stayed with us until the very end of the series, which... I quite like and I think I'm gonna stick with him for the, for his for this series. So legendary five million uh, five minutes sterling current customized it has to be Sanderson Park. Yeah. I actually don't know Leipzig Stadium. So we gotta go to a thing called Google. Let's check Red Bull Leipzig Six Stadium So it's Red Bull Arena How does it look like? It looks a lot like Sanderson Park actually See some images yeah, it actually looks like uh, Sanderson Park with that curved 
thing over the top, yeah. Check a couple more. Definitely has a roof. Yeah, it's Tidim Hanguk. Looks even better. We'll go with Red Bull Arena. Uh, red. So, yep. There you go. Done. Right, advance. This is only going to be sim in the first season. And all we do in this, I'll take the, the time to explain the series now. This series is all about uh, picking a good club, take them back to their lowest division in their country, fill them with the poor, uh, from the worst free agents that are in the free agents list, and put them into your club, and you have to build a side full of uh, youth academy players or regions uh, starting from there the only advantage to the and the, uh, the big difference to the youth squad prospect is that you start out with a all right squad and you start with loads of money which obviously means more fun So we got pre-season tournament, doesn't really matter, just gotta go with the highest prize money always pays off. So we got a lot of messages here at the start, we're only really looking at one. So objectives, youth development of course crucial, we've got sign at least at least three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of the players currently in the same position. So that will be a, di a bit difficult but we might try and look for the free agent list. Unless they count with the youth academy guys. So yeah. Grow two youth academy players by at least 10 overall points. Play them in 10 matches. Either starting or coming on, on as a sub. Brand exposure within three seasons increased season ticket holders with at least 10% of the stadium's capacity. No continental success objectives, no financial objectives, which is very nice. So we can spend all the money that we can. Uh, domestic success, we've got avoid finish at the bottom part of the league, that is perfect. Within two seasons, finish mid table. That is even, mu that is much better. Uh, that is even looking better actually. Deutsche Pokal reaches around the thirty-two. That is good for me. So let's see what we are kicking off with. Got some youth stuff. Oh, we got gonna sign the Netherlands guy. I'm gonna sign the Swiss guy. And hopefully we get a good German scout in. No, so what I'm gonna do is until I find someone localish, like for instance Germany, Belgium, France even will do, uh, with a good scout, then I'll sign him and keep him. Henry Hill is not even close to local, so. I like to keep the scouts actually local in this kind of series. I don't know why. Chile, hmm. Bit far out. Mexico, Jesus man, that's across the ocean. Got Denmark, that's a bit far away. It's not much, but I'd, I'd like a German scout. That would be awesome. A good a German scout, like... Yeah, like Dennis Bauer, right there. Bingo. We found our man. So because there's no financial objective, that doesn't really mean a lot. So let's go search for the free agents. Oh yeah. We need to search for younger players as well. Let me see what we have here. We've got Bozhikov. He's not younger than 21, than 20 years old. So unfortunately, he won't count for the objective. 
So I'm going to sign Gualberto Flores. He's going to be an important first team player. Why not scout him? Same with you. I'm going to approach as well just because we're at the beginning and there's no. Uh, There's really no no point of keeping in the free agents. We got Manic Umladvic, Umladic, great name. He only asked for 100, 1.5k. Uh, That's good. Uh, squad rotation maybe. I guess if he doesn't want that, I can give him important no problem. We got Dimitar Stoyanov as well. That is the fourth. Free agent, free agent, and I think that's all actually. Put important on him. Which is quite a shame, but yeah, maybe because we picked a lot of the free agents that normally pop up with pre gens Well, there you have it. Sell players, maybe. We can't really sell anyone right now, which is a big shame. But we can do this we can get rid of this guy we can get rid of the loney guys yeah young nukin and what about the yeah let's go for the valuation so we got Massimo Bruno I actually quite like him in real life Nukin I've heard about him Namari not that great same with Young yeah the rest is just normal guys here got Vizag we've got a lot of old guys I wish to sell uh, sell especially the low uh, low rated players or the older players that would be actually really nice let's send the scouts I completely forgot so we'll send uh, them to their local for their native countries with any just for three months I quite like to start this way three months got Dennis Bauer yeah every, every single just saying that they're going on the scouting trip so let's train the uh, the guys that really are the youngest Palacios Martinez hmm looks alright train up these two guys This right guy. We'll go centre backs. We've only got Singh. Do we have anyone younger? We have Farinish. Well, we'll go with Singh because he needs more. He needs it more. This will be the training from now on. Yeah, this is all about just doing the first season, so. And there's really no reason at this point. So let's get this free, these free agents in. Get them in. I don't think you can actually give the squad roll that you promised. Wow. I was not expecting that. I'll give you two. 
two grand squad rotation yeah I think I'm gonna go with that the financial part of things Limitas Tyanov Bozikov wants a bigger role well wow, there's some cockiness maybe because we didn't scam we don't know his overall so got a new signing that's Omladic doesn't really matter the result in the preseason tournament against Bohemians we're just really in it for the money and our main focus is for no one to get injured and just get the training and the offer is done. So Yanel goes up to a 58 and Tori is closing on that 57. Training of the younger kids actually pays off. So Massimo Bruno's on his way. We want 3 million for him because he's a good player. Otherwise he's not going. I think he can actually give the squad roll that you promised. Squad rotation, what about that? Gave you importance, now I give you squad rotation five years. Boom. Contract offer accepted by Bozhikov. Great name as well. He gets into the club. Right. St. Pat's next, and we got. Rosa G G C J C Guess that that's how you say a football club in 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 the, in the Netherlands. Two two draw we won against Saint Pad so we go through. That's some good money there. That's the Seagull. Gualberto Flores is actually fifty one rated, Jesus. And Dimitar Stoyanov, you come in to the club. Yeah, great job with our program. Massimo Bruno, 2.8. Actually, no, 2.7. 2.7 is good. That'll do. Oh, we already did the three players. So, boom. That's that done. Get rid of this. I'll put on this cap future star. Redeem item. Yep. Yeah. Scout has been dispatched. That's great. No, I need to stop this. Yes. There's a transfer offer for Nukin. Two million. Really. I took that wanting. Sporting Gijon matched the asking price for Massimo Bruno. Forgot to do the training. Transfer offer for Ken Gibson. They've matched the valuation. Just gonna ask for a little bit more because I think they're in our division. So we want a little bit more for him. To be fair, I need to check if there's someone that it was in this club. Where is he? This guy can be sold. There you go. Omladic. About two. Loan. 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 Will help the regions definitely. Oh yeah, we can't we can't loan the guys we're training. Yeah, we're not gonna loan the the other guys. Just gonna loan the regions. Um, Yanold maybe. Flores definitely. So we'll go against. Arakles Almelo. Lost 
The re one up. Don't really care about that. We've got a transfer off for the Mori. That is good. We want one million. Because it's Braunschweig and they are in the same division as us. I keep on forgetting to do the training. We've got Nils Quanchner. Let's ask for 800k. Because it's Greta for it. Right. Force. Whatever. 800k for him. They are in the same division, so we don't want to sell on the cheap. Nuken is gone. Uh, Bruno's gone. Nuken, they've matched the asking price for, Br uh, for Nuken. That is good. Actually, let me change something up here. So we got. Thing. Could I actually bring off Torre and put someone else there? Put this guy on. You know what? Now this guy, this this guy, is good enough developing on his own. Leave it. Leave it for now. Okay, mixed results here. Uh, Yanel and Rai with Epson. That striker from India that I can't pronounce gets an A. That's nice. At least someone's putting the work. Ben Kipson. Oh, for sake. Only give us a, a 10k more. Fine then. Just because we don't really need him. And I want them out of the club anyway. Omar Damari is going on to Braunschweig. That is great. What up, Critical? You okay? Got Torre going up, same with Rai. Royce has matched the asking price for Quanchner. He's going off. Got another transfer offer, this time it's for Young. And I want a million. I want a million, to be fair. Because Bielefeld are from the same division. FC Lugano, they're actually from Switzerland, my bad. But these guys, no, they there's Bielefeld guys are from from Bundesliga too. Found all I could in Sweden. To be fair, we have loads of money and can sign global transfer network scouts can afford to. So let's recall the scout. Let's get rid of everyone in here. Just delete because I'm not really cared about them. Same with you. We call Scout and you. Done. We call Scout. Let's hire some Scouts here. Oh, perfect. Dutch Scout. Oh, that is a shocking one. We can afford to fire Scouts actually, as well. Which is nice. Uh, no thanks, I shall do it later. Get it done and quickly. About the Mori spot. Interesting. Got player sold. Young is off to the Ellerfield. Really good training. Two A's, two B's, and a C. That that could have gone. That couldn't have gone better, to be honest. So I'm really pleased with the result. Are they back already? Yes, they are. Fire and sign, just because, fuck it. I'm gonna go all out while we have the money. Judgment 3 star, I don't like that. 
same with you. I'm going to fire you first. Fire star, fire star, perfect. You out. And to be fair, I'm going to wait until next week. Yeah, we've still got shit tons of money. Got two, one. There's transfer offers all over the place. 250 for tune. Quarter of a million. That'll do for me. And Würzburg, I want 250. Actually, not 240 because his form is poor. And you've uh, started over the valuation of the player, which I really like. Stop right there. Do the training. And next day will be the Scout Future Star. Scout has returned. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It's actually raining outside. I'm going to close the window. That is sick. He's fine, but he's 5'9, but who cares? I don't give a fuck. What a quality player we have here. We're not going to promote him just yet. I'm going to see who's on the monthly scouting update. So. Holy shit. Herbert Vogel. Jesus. 66 to 90 is not good enough in this kind of series. We want a goalkeeper, so we'll take him. And what about. Yeah, we've got a 75 to 94. We've got a really decent overall player. You. Reject. Sign. And. I'll keep him in this car report, why not? Take me to the youth academy. So we got this is a scout future star. Then we got Andrea Schmidt, Leandro Stucky, Herbert Vogel, Patrick Zecker. This guy should be promoted straight away because he deserves it and because he makes more money for us by by going into the first team straight away. Same with Herbert Vogel actually. Now I'm gonna hold him on in the youth academy just for now. Yeah I'm gonna promote definitely Patrick Decker and I'm gonna hold on for Vogel so they doesn't get him happy with uh, uh, poor playing time. I don't want him to get get really unhappy because he doesn't get minutes on the field. So I'm gonna keep him there. The youth academy. Got contract accepted by Patrick Decker. Frederico Plas Martinez is off the tune. And we shall look at the new players after we get done with the simming. Got another player sold, so Strauss goes on to Würzburg, 240k, that is brilliant. Take a look at the new signings, where are they? Got a central defence midfielder in Bozhikov, 2 star, 2 star, stats are looking alright, quite like them actually. Alberto Flores looks alright as well. Five star weak foot, two star skill moves, can play centre of the centre midfielder, centre mid and left mid. Looks alright actually. We've got Patrick Decker, probably the best so far. Best of the region they've got promoted. 
they are in the first team. Right mid, centre mid, high, low, three star, three star, that is perfect. Good pace, just need to work on the stamina. And good technicals. Just, I mean, the mentals are really poor, but vision and composure, which are the two that I most want, they are the highest, so I'll take that. We've got Dimitar Stoyanov, he's loan listed as well, uh, 2 star, 1 star, he's looking proper shite. And Matic Omladic, um, um, great name, I still can't pronounce it, need to learn that. And he actually looks alright, just need to work on the physical, but for a 48 overall striker, he looks alright. He looks like Goran Kranjic actually. So let's start the sim in right here. Got lost 3 0 to Dusseldorf. I mean, what are the objectives we've already done? Got the Chipotle Cow reached around 32. We're already in there. I mean, didn't need to do anything. Send at least three players. Yeah, that's the one that we did. And only avoid the finish in the bottom part of the league. Is the one that I'm not, not entirely sure that I'm going to do. So, what I'm going to do now is going to start training goalkeeper. The goalkeeper from the youth academy. So, they get promoted. quickly and then we can make quick money out of him. Maybe Schmidt will be the keeper, I don't know. Who really cares? We got Stucky maybe? Mm, not entirely sure. We got Vogel, Hendricks. We don't have defenders. No, no, no fullbacks. That is weird. Uh, Vogel, got three centre mid, Jesus. Who else, got Hendrix. Who should I train, I, th I think Stucky gets the training, for now. Yeah, Stucky gets all three training slots, I don't know. Gets at least two, so he gets to start growing. And I think I'm gonna give the third to Stucky just to make sure that he grows enough. Yeah, let's get on with the simming. The transfer off, I don't think so. It's a press conference. I'd actually like a loan offer for one of my players. That'd be actually quite nice. If FIFA doesn't mind, of course. Got Sandhausen next. And I'm gonna sim till next week. We lost 1 0. Shit. We're not picking up the wins at the moment. Fortunately, the um, the objective for the league is not that really high for this year, and it's only medium priority. So, and we've already done two objectives so for the season. That's a positive. Yeah, let's go with Stu Stucky and Schmidt in there. Stucky goes up. Play 47 already. He's growing up a lot. Maybe he's the guy that's being trained now. 
This is the perfect time to trade him. Because he's low overall, really low compared to his fellow teammates. And he can catch up quickly. Just have a check on some of them. Yeah, I can promote both uh, Schmidt and Stucky, so that's what I'm gonna do. For them to cost more, uh, cost less to the youth academy actually. For them to actually get picked in the game as well, that would be nice. During the simming, I just hope that they don't get injured. That's all. Otherwise, we're gonna have to focus on someone else, and I really don't want that. Even though I I know who the third guy would be if we need to. Got a Kai. Nice. We go at the table. Yes, we do. We are second bottom. I think by avoiding bottom of the league, they want us to finish 13th, around 13th place. I mean, bottom four is always like, meh. You're still at the bottom, but... After that, it's like mid-table. Got Stucky with a contract accepted. None of my players actually getting the loans, which is a shame. But what can you do? I mean, they're not going to become really big players for us, so... Just a way that popula to populate the, the club with regions. If we can get any loan offers now, I don't think so. But I'm gonna keep simming here instead of skipping transfer deadline day. One hour left, and 252,252 uh, £252 million pounds spent today. Almost 253. That is a ridiculous amount of money we got. Uh, the scout reports. So, Vogel's brother's not good enough. We've got Dennis Vedder. We've got Beckel, great name. Zimmerman, not good enough. And Newman. He looks alright. Daniel Van Lumen. Scott Smith. Visser, no. Baker. Peters doesn't look good enough. And Vermeulen doesn't look good enough. Got Fister. Got Vivel. He's a defender, so we'll sign him. And got Lewis Forster. Gonna keep him there. We got Fister. Gonna sign him. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep Lewis Forster in here. That'll be the right thing to do. Lee, a wanted man, already. So early on his career as well, already being chased up by clubs. I mean. If they're saying that I'm doing a good job and I'm just simming the game, then mind you, when I'm playing the games, Jesus, it might be a murder. Got press conference. We never go to press conference. It's just one of them things that FIFA needs to get out of their fucking game or work on it so it turns out to be good. 
just pointless being like a message there saying, oh, there's a there's a press conference. It's meaningless, but if you want to come and say hi, then go go do so. It's like, nah, mate. It, it's not happening at all. Really low overall players in here. We've got Fister and we've got Newman. Newman would actually be the guy that, that I'm most worried about for trading purposes. I'm going to sign that poor old guy that was in the scouting report. Where is he now? We've got Vivo though. Yeah, there he is. Vivo. Yeah. Train up Stucky and Smith. Smith and Stucky are actually growing, going up the gears really fast. Got Union Berlin next. Meaningless press conferences again. We are down to 81. One one draw. That'll help. Got player suspended. Don't really care. I haven't, haven't, I haven't didn't sort out the, didn't even sort out this, so, yeah, Deck is playing, Schmidt is actually playing, which is good, but I don't see, uh, sorry, Stucky getting any game time. Stucky and Schmidt both go up. Nice. Stucky with an A. That's really nice. So Stucky was a 54 and um, where is it? Schmidt was a 53. So that is really good growth. And it's only September. It's only September. We've got St. Pauli and we've got Nuremberg. I actually hope that we get a draw at least. In one of the games, 2 0 loss, 5 0 loss to St. Pauli. Jesus, we are poor. National management, not interested. Patrick Decker's out for four weeks. Fuck me. Got Turkey FA. Let's see if Stucky's tired. Might have gone the game time. <laughs> Didn't Jesus give him some fucking game time? Let's sim the training. Stucky up to a fifty one and Schmidt up to a fifty nine. It's good that the holding midfielders with really poor tackling can get it really quickly for these objectives. We've got other Scarapone, I think this is a final, yes, for their respective countries. So we've got in Germany, we've got Dietrich, we've got Fabian Schinkel, and we've got Leonard Zimmerman. Not good enough. Then we've got the Graf, not good enough, in, in the Netherlands. Lorenzo de Vries, Dan Peters, Luke Mayer's not good enough. Same with Max Mayer. Yeah, he's a left back, we might as well take him. He's a defender. Got a Swiss goalkeeper. That'll do. You reject. Got a huge keeper from Switzerland. And we've got a grey attacker from Switzerland. Switzerland has been good. To be fair, all countries have been okay. But that's that's mainly due to the scouts. I'm going to keep these guys in here as long as possible. Dan Peters could be another guy to train if we need to. Same with Lewis Forster. 
uh, Fabrice Weber doesn't look that great in his 15 so he can go good thing is that we can afford to have all of these guys in here Go and sim another day until the 18-16 minute game. And let's see what the result is. It's a 3-0 loss, Jesus. That is a huge loss. Seven, down to 71, this is worrying me. They are really concerned about the... You avoid the finish at the bottom of the table. We are bottom, aren't we? Yes, and not by uh, little. Three points. That's a lot. We are bottom by three points. That is huge. I know the message of test is only medium, and we have done the round of 32 for the cup. That that doesn't really mean much and we've done the academy that's it they could kick us out even before january that's what i'm worried about so we'll have to do something i'm gonna save it before the next game against eskerberger hour Patrick Decker's back from injury. That is quality. So we're gonna save it right here. Make sure we win. Bojikov gets a game. Same with Schmidt in the net. And. Where is Stucky? He gets in the bench. Yeah, I think that's better. We'll take off Passy. Got Mondal. Savedra is the right back. No. He's not the best right back that we have at the club. Let's sim this. Yeah, let's get it done out of the window. I hope it's a draw at least. That'll ease some pressure. And now Pachuca gets an injury. Bundesliga 2. That is out for two months. Two, well, 18, 16, I guess that gives one. chances to. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. A certain guy. You scared me. Points. In second, Hanover if we need with 17 come. points. In third, climbing Coming. the table are yeah. Esgerberger Auer with 15 points. In fourth and falling are St. Pauli with 14 points. He's already closing on the 54. In Jesus, fifth, the guy's the a legend. Are we are in mid-October. We've got Heinzenheim. India. No chance. It's like, it's not going to happen. We'll save it because it was a draw. And I'll put on Decker for the next for the next game, yeah. Instead of Lal Pachuca. Whatever his name is. Where's Decker? There he is. Vezaga gets in. Why is Stoyanov in? Well, wow, didn't check that. So George comes in and we'll change into a narrow 4 2 3 1. Decker goes into the right hand spot. Singh gets a game up front. Das got Vezaga only. What about the cam spot? George is the best for that spot, so we'll keep him there. We need a striker in here and it's gonna have to be this guy 56 rated
might be able to get a win here actually let's save it up I am the nine please get a draw at least no, I'm gonna have to play it again if it goes down to 72 or something like that. Yeah. Bundesliga 2. Esgerberger hour nil. I can't afford. Oh, that's not the. Yeah, let's go back at continue career. Starting. Lineup all sorted. What the fuck is wrong with this? With the 46? I don't get that. Why has it gone down? with 70. 3 2. Fuck me. Now, press conference has gone two. to 72. Hour two. Well, that's not happening. I'm not taking the 72. I want a draw or a win. Not taking anything less. Don't know why it shows 46. I mean, it's ridiculous. Whatever. Try and get a result here. Ugh, fuck me. Nothing's working. Well, Bundesliga I'm gonna do. Two. I'm gonna do Eskiburger switch hour. the formation. Yeah. I'm gonna put those guys out wide. That might help. So we've got four, two, three, one wide. So Decker and George and Gyro, sorry, are in their default positions. That might help a lot. We'll save it. And let's head on to the match. For the thousandth time. It's Leipzig against Hindenheim. Hindenheim. 2 0. Fuck me, man. Come on, can't you get a fucking draw on the Bundesliga board? Two. I'm only asking for a draw. Hour two. Hindenheim is not even like the top guns, I think. Let's check where they are in the table. They are right below us. Uh, right uh, ahead of us. We should win this as well. T two one loss. And Bundesliga two. What the fuck am I one. supposed to do? When they are just that shit. Got 79. Come on now. Uh, I need a win. 1-1 one, one draw. That, that, that is okay because just reloaded this way too much. Bundesliga 2. So Eskiburger it goes up to an 80. Two. Two. Saint Pauli Stocky nil. and Schmidt for the training one. yet again. And let's take a look at what and those results mean to the league table. This time Stocky doesn't go up. Schmidt Nuremberg is closing on that 61. In second, Hanover with 20 points. The cup game against Dusseldorf. Don't even care. Let's get that out of the way. As a 2-1 loss, Deutsche Pokal is out of the fucking calendar. That is perfect. Prize money. I mean, I don't really care about the prize money. It's not much. It's something, though. Quarter of a million. It's alright. Actually, I didn't expect it that much. I'll take it. So next time we've got Würzburg and they are just ahead of us so 
We definitely need to win this. That is our question. So I'll put on Torre. Decker can play centre mid. So Bojikov. I guess I'm gonna have to play with five man at the five at the back. Yeah, I think that's the best option. Bojikov is way too tired. Borges Vizaga gets in. Yeah. I think he's right wing, left wing. He can definitely do that. Left back, we've got Borges, maybe. We've got Saavedra, I think. No. What about Anto? He can't do left back. Shit. We need a left back. For the moment, I'm going to put Borges in there. Right back, of course, is going to be one of these two. Saavedra or Anto? Anto, I think. He's got the better weak for the skill moves. And who's playing up front? Shit, I actually didn't thought about that. Yeah, it's going to be a big struggle up front. Put on the four three three false nine, and so just about I think that uh, Tory can play there. We can put another centre mid. Go Savedro, Chingan is. Knackered. Contreras gets in. Machado. Yeah, Schmidt gets in. Right. Let's get the game on the way. We'll save it first though, because we're out of the Deutsche Bokal. Sim it in here, I think it's better. You can see how long has this been. Have I been streaming? To, uh, about an hour. So this is 1-1 one, one, and I think I'll stay there. It's alright though. I think so. Bundesliga 81. 2. Reuter so Firth 3. Esgeberger Auer 2. Sim it on so Landic. what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Nuremberg with 24 so, points. In second, Hanover with 20 points. Oh, I forgot to send the scouts out. What an idiot. I'll promote Dan Peters then. Just because we don't have a second left back. Which is ridiculous on its own. Might have to promote a couple of the youth players. Some of the best, really. Yeah, I think Jaden Hendricks is needed already. So he comes in. Got this Monsanto. We got Stockley. Well, I think that takes a bit of the games away. But I think we need him. Yeah, so he can come in already. What about, oh, we've got Vogel at 60 overall. We've got Schinkel, left midfielder.
this Newman guy looks alright. Who else is in there? We've got Dan Hendricks. 55 overall. Could promote him. And I'm going to leave it just before the Bielefeld game. And that is a great trading as well. Schmidt goes up to a 50, a 62, sorry. Stuck is already on 64. So I might as well start trading in Dan Peters. So they can get to the level of Das. So we've got Herbert Vogel, Dan Peters, Jane Hendricks, Fabian Schinkel and Leonardo Stokely in. That is perfect. Reject the South Africa one. And I'm just gonna split episodes right here. So if you want to stick around, watch the rest of the stream. Uh, then do so because it's gonna get really better from here on out gonna try and get to at least uh, p uh, February that's kind of where I'm aiming because there might be a lot of reloading but yeah just gonna cut episodes here so I'll see you in episode 2 in just a second goodbye